It may be the most disastrous interview I have seen, I don't even know in how long. Worse than, yes, even the Prince Andrew interview in terms of uh, how disingenuous, or maybe it's right alongside the Prince Andrew. I don't know. That was a really bad one, too. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough call. How disingenuous and dishonest the whole situation is. I mean, James Comey went on uh, Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace, and it was a complete and utter train wreck. Um, it really was. It was just disturbing to watch this play out. So Comey's performance in this interview with Chris Wallace was a, a tour de force of lies, disingenuousness, misdirection, feigned stupidity, obvious falsehoods, obtuse interpretation, absurd parsing, and of course his specialty, because he is Sancta Comey, shameless sanctimony. He says things like it doesn't make it any less of an issue after making the leap that there was no bias when the Inspector General clearly left open bias as a possible explanation. And by the way, of course it makes it less of an issue if there is no bias, then it's just, oopsies, we made some mistakes. Bureaucrats can always hide behind mistakes. This is absurd. But that's the whole point. Comey's entire routine is to say he is taking responsibility now that the Inspector General report has come out, to say this is gravely serious for the FBI, but nobody is really held responsible. We're supposed to accept that there will be real change or accountability at the FBI, and we should know that that is laughable. Comey hides behind massive straw men in this interview as well. He says things like, the American people were told the FBI committed treason, that we are all going to jail to top the FBI. Who was saying that? I certainly wasn't. The people that were following this, that were the strongest voices in conservative media, weren't saying that everyone's going to jail. I never, I never said that these people were going to jail. I've been telling you all along, and you know that. And there were others like me. Although, I am right like more than they are. But he hides behind these straw men and pretends that he didn't tell us that this was all fine all along. There was nothing to see here. There was no problem. And just because the IG couldn't definitively prove that the FBI engaged in a soft coup, we're supposed to assume that everything is fine? Comey, my friends, is a smug jackass. you got to love it when he pulls the whole, uh, I need the context of the quote, or... That's not how I hear what he said. Uh, that was in response to the Inspector General clips played for him by Chris Wallace. Does Comey speak some kind of secret language? Something uh, other than English? Because uh, that's just nonsense. In this interview, Comey engaged in pure Bill Clinton-style bad faith babble. What is the meaning of is? Comey went there. He did what is is in order to try and evade the truth in this interview. He claims the FBI didn't find misconduct because it, hadn't, it hasn't yet been decided definitively whether an FBI employee who doctored evidence will face criminal charges. Why would anyone doctor evidence? And that's not a mistake. That's a decision. And if that's not official, willful misconduct to be put out in an IG report, then I have to know what would be, because nothing is. This is all appalling. But then again, so is James Comey. His claim that it's not how it works at the FBI when it comes to his own responsibility for knowing about this investigation and any of the mistakes that are made, this is complete and utter BS. He also loves to insist that it wasn't the Trump campaign, it was some American citizens who happened to be working for the Trump campaign at the time of the FBI's interest in them. But these are people working for the Trump campaign. That's why they were of interest, and it was campaign-related matters. So yes, it was the campaign that was being investigated. The only reason that four American citizens could be under investigation in the first place is because of a fake, as we know, completely false conspiracy theory about campaign collusion with Russia. They were under FBI scrutiny for campaign-related matters, so the parsing that Comey engages in here is 
absurd. 